So what do you do if you don't have a family heirloom watch to pass down? Well, if you're anything like me, you go and find one. Hi everyone, my name is Faizan Rashid and I'm a resident of Dubai, UAE, originally from Pakistan. I've lived here all my life and my watch story goes back to the year 2011 when my, when my son was about to be born. It's back then that me and my wife started talking about wouldn't it be great if we had something that we could save as a memento of this special occasion, but also use to pass down to him when he grew older. And that's when I realized I didn't have a family heirloom watch in my possession. Now, back then I had just started off um, as a hobbyist watch enthusiast. I had a few watches, but nothing um, great that I could consider worthy of being possession that I could pass down to, to a son. I had a few Tissos, a few Seikos like anyone else, but I started mulling around by, about what it would mean to really own a, a watch that could be the one watch that represented who I was at that point, but also a significant milestone in my life that I could share with my son. And then I started thinking about and reading about what were the kind of watches that fascinated me. And I was reminded like as a, as a child growing up in Dubai and visiting the Omega um, authorized dealer peering through their windows when I was young and being fascinated and fixated on a particular watch. That watch, when I started reading about watches in general, turned out to be the Omega Speedmaster Pro. And the more I read about it and the more I researched into it, the more fascinated I became with the idea that that was the perfect watch for me. A few months after my son was born in 2011, I finally pulled the trigger, I made the decision, and I bought the watch. This is that watch. This is the Omega Speedmaster Pro, the 3570 model. Um, um, this was discontinued a few years later. But the remarkable thing about this watch is, ever since the 60s when it was first introduced, all the way to the milestone of landing on the moon till today, it's hardly changed. It's relatively the same size and the same case. It happens to be a beautiful manual wind that I get up and, and in the mornings where I'm wearing it, I get the privilege of winding it and listen to that winding mechanism. Now, ever since I've owned the watch, I've had discussions about the watch with my son. He's aware that I want, bought the watch to, to, to commemorate his birth. And he also almost considers it his watch. I often open up my watch box where I now have a number of other watches that compete for my attention, including the likes of vintage Rolexes. Uh, but, but there's nothing as significant as, as the Speedmaster because there is something monumental about your first mechanical watch. But there's also something significant and very personal about taking care of it, which is what I'm doing right now. The conversations I have with my son are about how I'm a custodian of the watch that he will one day inherit. And one of the things that I've been fortunate enough to do is take the watch on multiple travels over the last eight or 10 years. Now I'm fortunate that I work for an airline, so I've visited almost 30 countries uh, and about 21 of those, my son has been with me. Um, and in, in a number of those occasions, in a number of those trips, the watch has always been with me. I consider the Speedmaster almost the perfect travel watch. It's a watch that doesn't have a date complication. It's easy to set up when you take it out of the box. If you want to reset the time to a different time zone, there's nothing like it. And in every trip that I've been in, the watch has always been on my wrist. And my son remembers that. When I go back through all my images, he sees it there. He calls it the astronaut watch. And because he studied about it in school, he calls it the Neil Armstrong watch. He's seen the case back, he's read it. He's been fascinated by it. He's spoken about it in school. And I'm starting to get the feeling he's really influenced by this one single watch that both him and I share a connection with. I don't know when I'll pass it on to him. It must be a significant milestone that I hope he earns. That could be a birthday, that could be a graduation, that could be his wedding. I really don't know. But both him and I know that we both love this watch. And one day what is mine will be his to own. Thank you for listening. And I hope to hear your story as well. Goodbye.